The new $70 million rare disease fund will provide some respite to Singaporeans with conditions that require costly medications. The current support is limited to three rare conditions and five types of medications. The Rare Disorders Society of Singapore is hopeful the fund can be expanded to include more conditions and treatment types. Cheryl Goh meets one of the fund's beneficiaries. At first glance, two-year-old Christopher Toy seems like your regular toddler. Active, playful, with a touch of cheekiness. But unlike his peers, Christopher suffers from an extremely rare condition known as bile acid synthesis disorder. This interferes with the production of cholic acid in the body, causing toxic bile acids to build up and could eventually lead to liver failure. He's the only known case in Singapore and one of less than 50 reported around the world. To manage his condition, Christopher needs cholic acid medicine for the rest of his life. And the drug isn't cheap, costing over $6,000 a month. As Christopher grows and his weight increases, he will need a higher dosage, thereby raising the cost of treatment. But with the rare disease fund, his parents have some relief. When we got the, the news, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was quite incredible. Our out-of-pocket expenses will be reduced by a bit. The support they want to render um, as in the, the vision of it is to be lifelong. But of course, um, as with all assistance of this kind, you need to apply for it uh, every year. Reason being, um, they need to review our own uh, financial situation of the family, as well as the cost of the medication. We're just glad that this RDF has provided a channel to not just raise funds, but to also raise awareness among uh, the public. Christopher and his family here are among the first two beneficiaries to receive support from the Rare Disease Fund. Now, the funds committee said it will review and eventually expand it to cover even more medications for other rare conditions. These are conditions that afflict fewer than one in 2,000 people. The Rare Disorders Society says the fund is a good start to support the community. There are more than 40 different types of uh, rare diseases in Singapore. I wouldn't expect the fund to stop here, and and we 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 should actually we should look into growing the fund. So if we can grow the fund until 200, 300 million, yes, this fund should be enough. The government is providing three to one donation matching to the fund, which will be managed by an endowment to keep it sustainable. Very good.